Hi there, this is Amanda from AMA Designs and yesterday I posted in my stories that I'm starting a Q&A with AMA series and yesterday I got a few questions so I'm going to answer them now. My first question comes from Alex and she writes, what is your favorite thing about interior design? Which is a tricky question because I enjoy so much about what I do, but if I had to choose just one thing, if I had to choose one reason why I enjoy interior design so much, it's because I get to help people on a daily basis and it's using my creative ability. And through design, I get to change people's lives. Now you're probably thinking changing people's lives, that sounds a little dramatic, but I feel like I actually do change their lives. There's something that your home evokes when it just feels good and it's decorated and it feels like you. I got another question from Alex and she writes, what surprises your clients the most after working with you? Good question. I would say the result of the room is what surprises clients after working with me. Uh, oftentimes in the beginning they don't know what they're looking for and they hand me a bunch of adjectives of how they want the room to feel and I managed to pull it together. My next question comes from Caroline and she asks, what is the must have item for the home this year? Now, I feel like that varies from season to season, but I'm going to tell you what's trending right now. So as I previously mentioned in my last snap, home design trends come in seasonally, but one trend that I see that's not going in, out of style anytime soon is technology in the home. So what I've been seeing recently, I recently saw by Samsung an oven that has Wi-Fi. Now, if you happen to leave the house, hopefully for not too long, you can monitor your food from your smartphone device and even adjust the temperature and turn it on and off all from your phone which is pretty cool my next question comes from stephanie and she asks what are your tips for choosing colors when you don't have a color scheme i'm going to tell you in three tips tip number one start with what you already love now take a peek in your closet and see what color you wear the most Chances are, if you love wearing it, you're going to love it in your home. Tip number two, take that color and choose a secondary color. This could be a color across from the color wheel or right next to the color that you love already. Tip number three, add highlights and low lights for contrast. So I like to add uh, similar colors that are light and I also add dark colors for contrast. This adds depth to a room. Okay, this is like a bonus tip. Um, I also like to add neutrals to calm things down and also it depends on the look you're going for. So if you want something more vibrant and you want a playful room, obviously go heavy on the color. So that was my last question. I hope that you enjoyed watching this series and thank you to everyone who participated and I'll see you next week in the next Q&A with AMA.